The president receives Dr. Kunio Mekuria, Secretary General of the World Customs Organization, who is accompanied by the Nigerian Customs Boss. While the visit centers around the ongoing global conference on fragile borders hosted by Nigeria, Buhari again reiterates his commitment to free, fair, and credible elections. This time, he stresses the need for peaceful and conducive atmosphere. Buhari underscores the need for Nigeria and her neighbors to place what he describes as high premium on the effective policing of their borders. The fragility of our borders has been a major Achilles heel in our fight against terrorism, economic sabotage, and illicit flow of small arms and light weapons. Mukuria, who describes Nigeria's role in the 184-member organization as vibrant, says custom services must now go beyond mere revenue generation. Quite often, security, when it comes to security, it is intelligence-driven, agency-driven, and security, and they don't necessarily, well, uh, consider customs' role. But the customs has the constant uh, um, uh, contact with the traders, passing the, the passengers, and they have data. Buhari lists the National Security Strategy 2019, a new customs modernization project, and support for the armed forces in launching operations to secure the borders as measures that his administration has put in place to combat the challenges of securing the nation's fragile borders. Away from that, the president unveils and launches two new policies developed by the Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy. In the last three and a half years, we have identified the development of policies, design of programs, and implementation of projects in the digital economy sector, and the impact has been very impressive. The minister enumerates some of the benefits to be derived from implementing the policies. The national policy on the Nigerian government's second level domains, as well as the national data policy. When this policy is implemented, it will go a long way in reducing cybercrime in Nigeria, particularly the issue of impersonation. Your Excellency, Mr. President, sir, this policy also, when implemented, it will promote our digital identity globally. Number one, to ensure privacy and protection of data. Number two, also to see how they can leverage on their data and build and be part of the global data ecosystem and also global data economy. President Buhari says the digital economy sector has been the most successful in the diversification of the nation's economy, saving the federal government over 45.7 billion naira in IT projects clearance. Later in the day, the president received in audience the governor of Yobe State and the former interim chairman of his party, May Malaboni. Details of that meeting are yet to be made public. Adesua, Omoran, Arise News.